Right, let's check out this log then. Operation Defiance has commenced. As discussed in my previous log, that I haven't read, total unrestricted clearance to the archives has been granted to all research tiers. If you are a lower tier alchemist and have any ongoing research unrelated to Project Seed, drop it immediately. Project Seed, huh? Gross. I shall present our collected findings more formally in the days um, to come, so we may prepare for the final test. So they're like preparing, well... Oh, Project Seed, they're restoring the fucking tree, aren't they? And it, Bosco was talking about the Black Marsh and everything. So initially this aerosap was co co collected from a special sort of tree and one was growing in Fort Patherath. So they were like restarting the tree to to, to get aerosap working again, I'm assuming, right? For the seed. Right, I shall present our findings later formally. I wish to allay any you know, anxieties in regard to success rate to this portion of Project Seed. I'll be doing so by giving a retrospective of the failures of Project Aerosap and how our organization has shed the incompetence that doomed the project from the start. Project Aerosap was initially conceived by Matriarch Celine as a long-term instrument to societal collapse in a way of distribution to select clients across the region. Oh. What? So they invented their sub initially to destroy the world? That's that's not even that that's exactly what they wanted to. The whole purpose of it was that. Not just enslaving specific women, no, just like societal collapse. Okay. In hindsight, meaning meeting the project enormous scope was anything but feasible for the following reasons. A unified empire, the late third era saw a relatively static political climate in comparison to today, even the years following the oblivion crisis, law enforcement made exceptionally organized if any of our potential clients were to use our sub in noticeable quantities, jurisdiction would have been swift, contracts that were not properly disposed of uh, would have served as paper trails back to the headquarters, our clients who would have been high-ranking officials and warlord Warlords would have been prone to place blame on purity to escape persecution. Their valued words would carry greater weight than uh, those of an ordinary criminals in the street. Okay, well, it's dangerous to distribute dangerous drugs. Okay. You, you made your point. I'm not sure why we're arguing about this. Like, why does that need to be said? This is not the case uh, in the fourth era. Project Seed relies on uh, no proxies or benefactors to support. For support. It's on our shoulders to execute the project without fear of reprisals from an empire in disarray and the false government of rebellion. It, it goes without mentioning that deployment will yield immediate results, unlike the indefinite waiting period of Project Aerosap. So they're not doing Aerosap. Really? Okay. So that's what you're gonna do. Divine interference. Against all expectations, the false goddess known as Spica was the ultimate cause for Project Aerosap's failure. I'm assuming this is something you know if you played the first maid in Oblivion? I haven't, I don't know. Um, despite her sex-driven culture of a realm... Ah, oh, this, this is the same spirit as Serenity was. She saw through the... tantalizing project. So there is like a race of some kind of... Uh, succubuses or something and they are against enslaving people how nice of them anyway she saw through the tantalizing project of a mortal city mirroring her own as a loss of free will and an ancient rivalry was reasons enough to enlist the service of serenity to guard to, to crush our project by destroying the aerosol history at fort padarath since the void knights what we no longer have to fear the meddling of the goddess and her people. All oh, right, because they, because they're all dead, I'm assuming, right, or something. I don't know. Though they would have become allies in our fight with certainty sirens. I don't think so. Obscuring the nature of Project Seed and their presence would have only hindered progress. No alliances. 
Obtaining the Aerosub His Tree was a joint effort between the organization and the Blackwood Company. Ah, so I see. So I'm kind of piecing together the Oblivion story. Sort of. So it was the Blackwood Company uh, who assisted them there. Interesting. I must. I don't know. I mean, they are kind of the baddies when when you play through the Fighters Guild quest line. Even though I don't see any good reason for them to be the baddies, it's just mercenaries. Hmm. When we each found the tree. What? How many trees did you find? That we needed. We went our own separate way. Ah, oh, no, you just found the tree together. Okay. This mistake resulted in destruction of each of our trees. Oh, there were two trees. There has been a formal. Had there been a formal alliance that went beyond coin, we may have ensured that each tree was properly safeguarded. What do you mean beyond coin? Why would there be an alliance beyond coin? There are mercenaries. You should have just paid them more for guarding. Duh. Anyway. Project C had no lack of defenders thanks to a dedicated division of warriors and the heroes of the norm who coincidentally share history with Blackwood Company. Oh, do they? Honor bound and resilient on the battlefield, we can safely depend on their continued support. You're right. As long as their commander is kept in check. Well, he's fucking dead now, so I don't know. I think this journal was given to me by Bosca, actually, so... Ironic, that. Reliance on a single source. The history that produced Aerosap was a unique abomination found within the uncharted swamps of the Black Marsh. There was no replacement if it were to be destroyed. As such, when it was burned by Serenity, the project was immediately cancelled and all errors are documented in preparation for disposal. Ah, so you like... Okay. <clears throat> I guess there was no way to, like, replicate it? I don't know. Okay. This is not the case with Project Seed. Uh, SAP uh, extraction was done <gasps> Sap extraction, so I was sort of right, or, or not, hmm, was done on site, in the swamps, transporting the aerosap history as a sapling and then nurturing it on the rooftops, was a monumental task on its own, with the histories involved in seed, our only concern is to convert the sap from liquid to a gaseous toxin. <gasps> what? They want to gas everybody, Jesus! I mean, that would probably be more effective, then. So they're here just to, like, drop some kind of bomb and infect someone with gas. Okay, great. That's a weird way to kill someone, considering that it's like an aphrodisiac of some kind. When all sap extraction was deemed complete, we lured the unsuspecting cleansers... Cool. ...to the former harvesting grounds to test the quality of the toxin. Oh, I know, this is so itchy. As all of you know, the results exceeded expectations. Not only did the toxin retain the properties of the sap, it also increased the duration of the hallucination effects. What? Elder alchemists involved in the AeroSap project may recall that converting his sap from a liquid to an airborne toxin was only theoretical. What we achieved with seed in such a short period of time would be a testament to our ever increasing skill set in alchemy. Okay, well, you're sucking your own dick here. A stockpile of toxin capable of dispersed throughout non rest by our feet. Ah, its original intended purpose was never revealed to us, but it's very likely it would have been similar use. What? What are you talking about? Suppression of the hallucinatory effects via alchemists has proven effective. Amplifications of the lethal strain found in the sap been successful. Any day, so it is just mass poison then. It's no longer an aphrodisiac or what? Any day now it will be deployed at a test location. Oh, I have an idea what the test location would be. Oh shit. Will be disclosed to all of you when appropriate. By tomorrow's for tomorrow's log I'll be discussing in lengthy detail the second portion of Project Seed. When the entire world is dead, there'll be no time to spare for the ascension. So we may go. So we may alter the rules of the game. Remain focused and retain your regular schedule of meditation. Oh, there's more of it. 
uh, so we may achieve what others cannot. Purity, my brothers. Atlas Project Seed Overseer.